Here's 10 hacks to make sure that your AI automations and AI agents are durable, scalable, and don't break when you put them into production. The first hack is actually using a platform called postman.com, which allows us to test our automation. And so in this case, the first step of my automation is a webhook. And a webhook is a thing that actually receives the data. And so if I press listen to test event, I can test it by going here. I can press send. And now I'm sending the name and email. If I go back to NN10, I can now see on the right-hand side, if I scroll down, that I have the name and I have the email right here. This is great in case we want to test our automations from end to end and make sure that they actually work. The second hack is make sure that we use a production URL when we turn this on right here. Because when we turn this on, I can go to executions. And now if I press send here, this will now say that there was an error because we're using the test webhook URL. And so now for us to be able to make this work, we have to go here. We have to change this to production URL. And now we can replace the actual request. I can press send and this will now work. Why? It's because when we turn this on, we have to use the production URL. If I go here, I can see that this succeeded right here with the actual data. The next hack is actually within the HTTP request. So here we're sending a request to a server asking for the weather of London. And so most of the times when you make a request like this, you need to put something called an API key. And typically the API key is gonna be within the parameters. And so here we put the key and we put the actual password. But now the password, you would usually have to hard code it within the actual request. But the hack here is adding it to an edit node before that to store it. So then we're able to bring it back here as a dynamic field. So now if you want to call the exact weather API in the next steps as well, we don't have to hard code the API key. We can just bring it back from this node right here. Then in terms of error handling, we have retry when failure. We have continue when failed. We have split error root. We have fallback agent LLM and we have error workflow as well. Now I've made a full video going in much more depth into this topic. If you want access to it, make sure to check out the first link down below.